Hey guys, this is John and Josh again from Star EV Tech Support and we just wanted to show you something that we found out about the uh, brake adjustment that you can make on a Star Sirius 2 passenger and today we are using two 13 millimeter wrenches a 17 and a 14 and we're going to show you what we are going to use those for in a minute but right now we're going to have Josh jump up in the car and we're going to use our specially made brake pressure gauge and we're going to show you on this gauge right here uh, if you can see that hopefully we have it zeroed out and then this is our gauge right here inside of there is a pressure sensor unit inside of here and when he presses the brake it'll give us a reading on the display to let us know the pressure that we have so Josh go ahead and press that so guys this gauge is setting the parking brake and as you saw right there it set it topped out go ahead and do it one more time it topped out right about 86 go ahead that's the first click and second click is uh, maybe 90 okay so we're going to show you what we found underneath the car as far as the adjustment and in the previous video we said that there's an adjustment that we don't ever mess with and that is normally true until this week we ran into a problem where we had to correct it and it was the only way to adjust for that problem. So today we're going to show you what we found and how to do it yourself. So guys, what we found is that in this spring carrier right here, there is a shoulder bolt made in here. And you can see it between the spring uh, coils. Right here you'll see the threads and there is a nut and a jam nut that holds that together. The way this is supposed to be is this, these two nuts are supposed to hold this washer and spring all the way bottomed out onto the top of that shoulder bolt. So if you see any threads right here, you know that this needs to be tightened all the way up. So what we found is that this spring controls pedal feel. So the resistance that you're going to feel when you press the pedal is determined by how this spring is compressed. So by compressing this here all the way to the shoulder, you are preloading the spring, giving you resistance from the top of the pedal in that movement. Now, when we move to this adjustment right here, what happens is you can change the application of that spring tension. So basically you're using that adjustment to apply the spring tension to the pedal. Now, what that translates into is we've shown you here how to adjust the equalizer distance. We've also shown you how to adjust the brake cables back at the wheels. What we found is that by doing what we're gonna show you, you can control everything from here back that way independently of what's from here this way what we found is that if you take this clevis off and were to turn it so one half turn two three for each turn is approximately 10 psi of pressure on the pressure gauge that's up there in the car we also found that if you use this nut right here and use it you don't have to take this clevis loose. So what I'm going to have Josh do is I'm going to have him hold it here. This is a 13 millimeter. This is also 13 millimeter. I'm going to have him break the jam nut loose. Once that he does that, you can take this whole assembly. So we, if I wanted to add pressure to the gauge, I'm going to go like this. 
So that's 10, 20, 30. Now this is not an exact number, but it, you will see by the pressure gauge that we've increased the pressure above. So now we're gonna jump up top and show you the difference that we've made in the pressure gauge. So guys, here we are again. We're gonna zero out our reading. And then we're gonna start again. We're gonna apply the pressure again. And you'll see, go ahead, Josh. So you can see that our pressure is at least, uh, I'd say about 110 now, where it was right at 90, 89 or 90. So you can see that we have increased the pedal pressure, the feel of the pedal, just by adjusting that one adjustment. We didn't have to take anything loose except the jam nut. Now, the key thing to remember is that we have not messed with anything at the back of the car. So the brakes, the application of the brakes has not changed at all. So we're gonna jump under the car one more time and we're gonna set this back to what it was. So guys, Josh is gonna point out right here that you can still spin the wheel freely. So there's nothing that we're changing in the back. The wheels are not uh, bound. They're not seized up. We haven't changed any, any of the adjustment that's back here. So guys, to continue our video, the rear of the car, the braking application at the shoes is controlled by this. So if you want the brakes to apply from here through the cables, you're going to change this setting and that's what we showed you in the previous video what we're doing is we're setting this section that is what we're showing you through the pressure reading so as you saw before we tightened the setting up we did that by turning clockwise on these threads so to go tighter if you want more pedal feel more pedal resistance you're going to go clockwise now what we're going to do is show you the opposite way so if i go and go one two three so that's back where we were so we're going to keep going one two three now if you notice we did not touch this adjustment at all so the, these two nuts are tightened up against each other and they did not change. We can turn this 800 times and it will never change this setting. So everything from here back stays just like it was. Now, once we get into the car and show you the pre pedal pressure, you'll see that we've greatly reduced the pedal pressure, but all of this stays the same. Guys, once again, here we are with the pressure sensor. We've zeroed it out. And go ahead, Josh. Now, as you can see, our pressure topped out at about 68. Let's do it one more time. Zero. Go ahead. I think it was about 64, 65 on that one. So let's just show you, hold, hold, hold. Let's go over here. We cannot turn the wheel. And that is with 64 to 67 PSI on our pressure gauge. So by showing you this adjustment, we're trying to show that you can set the pedal the pressure of the pedal to the customer's liking and keep the performance of the brakes exactly the same. We've shown that we went up in pressure, so if they want a more a firmer feel in the pedal, you can achieve that. If they want a softer pedal feel, 
you can achieve that just by changing what we showed you today so that is a very easy setting that you can make so guys thanks for watching the video today and hopefully this made it a lot clearer what those adjustments do as far as the back of the car and the front of the car hopefully that explains what the spring is in there for and what it does as far as the pedal feel and if you guys want to become better at what you're doing in the service bay feel free to subscribe and remember this is only a conversation so we'd like to hear from you down in the comments as far as questions things that you're wondering about on these cars and we'll fill those details in answer those questions on the channel and uh, we just want to thank you guys for tuning in from Star V Tech Sport and we'll let you guys get back to work.